What are you most excited about in terms of evolving technology in the areas of consciousness hacking? Because you, you know, you talked about the, the uh, AI shrink and 3D printing drugs. And I'm like, what? This was five years ago, which so is an eternity. It's the, like, uh, the one that I care the most about, and this is work we're actually actively doing at the Flow Research Collective. I'm going to say a bunch of tech things quickly. Um, Video games can drop people into flow, but not very effectively, unless you're a total gamer and love games, then they can really do it. They can get at three of the 22 flow triggers. Virtual reality can get at much more. So we learn faster in flow, 20, 250 to 500% faster than normal. Um, so we have teamed up with uh, Limitless Flight, which is one of the most advanced VR companies in the world. Uh, scientists at UCSF, a bunch of bigger team. We're trying to use VR to build a high flow, sort of accelerated learning environment for worker retraining is our interest. Um, it can be used for education. I don't want to get into a curriculum battle with parents, which is what happens when you develop an educational tool. And I'm like, I don't have kids. I don't want kids. I don't like kids. I don't want to argue about what we should be teaching our kids or your kids or anything like that. Like somebody else can do that job. But um, I, I, worker retraining is, is, is interesting and a, and a big problem in the, in the 21st century, especially as we move to like autonomous vehicles and the entire trucking industry within 20 years needs, like it's the largest employer in America and they're about to be out of jobs in the next two right. decades. So how do we retrain them and, and, and skill them up quickly and in a fun way, right? Like that's gotta be hard enough losing your job and having to like learn a different set of skills later in life. So high flow and being uh, inside VR, if we can do it right, it's distributed. So you don't have to have a classroom. You can be anywhere in the world. That's the tech I'm most interested in because it's mm -hmm. the tech that like we are working the hardest on. And it, the path to that will also answer a lot of the questions I have about flow. And a lot of the remaining questions we think we have about flow is probably a whole lot more that we can't see yet. Yeah. Also, I'm a very low tech person. So even though I'm working on this, you know, I tend to push uh, personal technology far away. Um, as, as far away as, you know, I, I use what I need to, to do my job, but I, um, I find that the trade-offs and the distractions and all right. that comes with it, I'm very aware. As a writer, I'm wary of uh, the technology. As a scientist and researcher, I'm excited by it. But as a, as a writer and a creative, I'm like, no, no, I'm going to be a late adopter because I don't want it to break what's already working. I agree. The tech is exciting and, you know, it's exciting to talk about uh, without losing sight of everything. Um, I think the problem with the tech is the tech feels like it's like a pill. Oh, I'm just going to use this technology and it's going to fix it. And right. um, nothing I know about human performance and creativity, like it doesn't work that way, like yeah. it, at all. And it still requires as much hard work. And the tech often blinds us to interior reception, like self-awareness for the body's own signals. And one thing as writers, like any career that involves pattern recognition, writing a big one, um, pattern recognition is directly coupled to your ability to put in your reception. So they did this really crazy study with London stock traders. And they said they believe the best test for interior reception is can you count your heartbeats? How many times is your heartbeat in a minute? That's the standard interior reception test. And they found that the London stock traders who could count their heartbeats better were much better at stock trading. Stock trading is all about pattern recognition. And they like, it was short term, long term, they beat the market, they beat everybody else. Writing is pattern recognition. So it's the same, you know, so the tech often divorces us from our bodies and our bodies and being in touch with that literally like, if you're a writer, you're in the pattern recognition business. And if you're relying on technology to know how you're feeling on the inside or steer, I get nervous about what it does. I think that there's a place for it, but there's a whole lot sort of, it's worth knowing to use it correctly. Honestly.